Nothing is more terrifying for a parent than to learn their child's been injured or is seriously ill. For a sick child, hospital stays can be long and anxious, but at Montana Children's in Kalispell, after a storm, there's always a rainbow. Kevin Mackey has our Montana moment. Hello, Katie. Well, hello, Katie. The teddy bear lady and her sidekick, Sunny Bear, have come to see Katie Bell and her mom, Kim, at Montana Children's. I'm here. I have a stuffed animal for you today. Sunny Bear reminds every child that behind every dark storm, there's always a rainbow. Sunny Bear is saying, I'm here to turn crappy into happy. Turning crappy into happy is the overall goal of the Teddy Bear Lady's nonprofit 406 for Kids. I got chocolate chip cookies, Cheetos. Also known as Lori Williamson, the Teddy Bear Lady's 406 helps sick kids, their parents, and siblings through tough times. A little sunshine during that journey can make all the difference. They brighten Katie's day. She's goofy and I like her. <laughs> and I like you too. You're colorful and I like it. <laughs> Katie is an engaging 16-year-old from Anaconda with an infectious giggle and a warm disposition. But for years, she's been coping with a genetic stomach disorder. Feeding tubes and needles are never fun. It's hard. I have... Anxiety with IVs and getting my blood drawn, and I have three pokes in each arm. Katie is a high school junior who's had to spend way too much time in hospitals. She's had three different hospital stays just this year. No teenager should have to be sick, but Katie believes if she's mad or sulky, it's just going to make her feel worse. She kind of have to find some kind of, like, level of like feeling okay about it but not being okay about it. Lori and Katie have become good friends. Lori's love of kids and animals began in Cutbank. All of it was part of growing up on a farm with six siblings. Lori was a human resource manager at the Smurfett Stone Paper Mill in Frenchtown for 25 years. She was on the board of directors at Candlelighters New York City, a nonprofit that helps kids with cancer. That's where she learned to turn crappy into happy. It's there she met Bruce and his family. Bruce loved Wampa. And he's in heaven now, but I wear him on my heart to remind me. Lori says she was blessed with a healthy family. My husband and I want to give back. That's why they're building a respite home so parents and siblings with sick kids can take a break from the hospital. I'm standing right where the house will be. Um, on the outside of the house, over towards this area, will be a meditation garden. Lori says children's world-class doctors and nurses can get a break here, too. The Sunshine Factory will be 100 steps from Montana Children's. There will be a living room and dining room, even a spa. The bottom floor will be a beautiful playground for siblings to come and play. So mom and dad can come over and take a nice nap, a hot shower. It will be totally ADA with an elevator. From the main floor, you can take a slide. Ride a slide all the way down to the playroom. Ground for the Sunshine Factory will be broken in April. It should be ready by next Christmas. Kim knows how exhausting hospital stays can be. It's a great idea. That's something that's needed at a lot of, at a lot of places. Sonny Bear will live at the Sunshine Factory. He can't wait. Lori ties a bow around each and every bear. It's a personal touch, a gift of love to the youngster. Sonny Bear has a soul, and the reason why I know this he makes everybody smile that gets to hold him. Sunny Bear is real, she says, as real as rainbows. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.